All right, so today I wanted to talk about this pressure washer setup. I have always been kind of the car washing enthusiast. I love keeping my cars clean, my just my stuff clean in general. So when I saw this kit, um, I saw the pressure washer initially, I liked it. Um, but Matt Mormon with Obsessed Garage came out with this whole kit kind of idea. But his is a little bit more over the top than what I have here. Um, this is kind of like his original basic kit, but I've kind of done some custom things on my own to kind of cut down on some of the cost. Um, but I figured I'd show you and kind of tell you my thoughts so I want to start up here. This is the Krenzla 1322T. So this is a, an electric pressure washer. I just plug it into the wall here and then the power button is up top, up there. And you have the pump over here with the inlet hose and the outlet hose. So I have it mounted the same way he does. This is the shelf. This is obviously the pressure washer. I've got the fittings, the rubber clamps, um, the rubber clamps here. And then what I did was I just rolled up my cord and zip tied it together and I have it stored under here because I wasn't willing to cut the cord here and kind of re, uh, rewire it just wasn't something I wanted to do but the shelf luckily was the, sh the shelves are wide enough to accommodate um, a 16 inch spread so each one of those is mounted into a stud but in order to mount this hose reel I had to put this uh, 2 by 8 I believe it is up here and kind of mount it that way um, I have lags going into the studs and then I have lags holding in the reel. So this is a Cox hose reel with the Cobra Jet pressure washer hose. This is the older style so that it still has kind of a texture to it. It's not smoothed. Um, and then, you know, it's just a hand crank. So what I did for the water inlet was this is a Amazon rubber hose. I needed it to be four feet. That was what fits here the way I have it set up with this spotless water filter. Four feet is a perfect length. Um, Matt sells a six and a half foot option, six and a half feet op foot option and that was just a little too long for me. So I have the hose here. It's just rubber you know, water drinking safe, so hopefully it doesn't have too much stuff in there uh, that can break down and get into the water since it is after the water purifier, water filter. So I have these little Home Depot clips here and these hold the wand and it holds the pressure washer power cord um, I just kind of put that there because I don't I don't really like leaving stuff plugged in so I have this left here but you could just as easy take it out and plug it in right here next to the wall and you could leave it like that but like I said I don't want to I don't want to leave it plugged in it seemed like it's probably it may or may not be the plug but it seems like the plug gets warm while it's plugged in the wall um, but that could be the outlet or whatever the uh, wall outlet so on this side I have the wand and the power cord and then I got this stainless steel hook and that holds the Mosmatic spray gun and obviously this is the Mosmatic uh, wand or lance and I have the 40 degree nozzle in there. So next on the list is this spotless water filter. I have it on wheels that way I was able to move it around or whatever I, uh, it would be nice to have it mounted on the wall but it's not essential right now because you know this uh, 
whole kind of system is subject to move. But I kind of wanted to share how I did the piping. So what we have here is copper pipe and brass valves. I have a valve on you know each side and then one here in the back. And uh, what I did was I used these connectors. They're called shark bite connectors and they don't leak so I'm happy with that. And what that allows me to do is I can put a little uh, pinch uh, thing on here and I can pinch this and this whole assembly here will slide off and that way I was able to thread these pieces into here that way it's not permanent um, if I were to do brass I mean if I were to have just you know soldered the copper pipe into a fitting here I would not have been able to remove it without cutting the pipe and redoing that if something were to happen so if something happens I can just crimp this in pull the whole assembly out and we're good to go. So basically the way it works is I have an adapter down here and I have a quick disconnect for the garden hose. So that is how it normally looks. And again, all of this is copper pipe that was soldered together. And then this is a thread adapter for a, uh, I think they call it FIP and then it just goes into the garden hose down on this side so I can just clip the garden hose right in here and then the water comes out on this side so I have another adapter here and another quick disconnect for this leg of the hose <clears throat> so everything is soldered together and I have the valve set up that way you can use filtered water or fresh water. So if you want fresh water, what you do is you just keep these valves on the sides here closed. That way water does not run to the filter and you just open this back one back here. And then if you want filtered water, you just close this one and you open these two. So it's a pretty simple setup as far as water comes in here and then if you want fresh water non-filtered you just open the valve and it comes straight in and straight out and then goes to the pressure washer but if you want filtered water you close that off the water is forced to go this way through the filtering system comes out and then it goes up here so that leads up here to the pump and then the pump puts it through this little two foot jumper hose here, which is the next thing I'd like to talk about. I would love to have this jumper hose have, uh, I would love for it to have stainless steel ends. So let me get out a flashlight here and try to show you what I'm, I'm talking about. I don't know if that'll kind of show up on camera that much, but if you can see that it is It's rusting out down in there. So the light's probably a little too bright. But the actual end, the pressure washer coupler is not rusting. It's actually the cheap metal from the jumper hose. Um, it's actually this part that's rusting. It's not this. So I'd love for this to be made out of stainless steel and you know it's got a built-in swivel and all that jazz but um, you can see kind of where it goes into the end of the pressure washer thing here. This isn't stainless steel as well either. I mean this is not stainless steel either. So they're kind of rusting and I'd like to you know I did see Matt had a new option for this to get Mossmatic stainless steel one. Definitely going to opt for that and then he did say something about a new jumper hose so I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that new jumper hose whether it's blue or black or whatever I'm not really worried about that the black does have a tendency to you can see where I just touched the wall with it does mark up the wall pretty bad so maybe the new one will be a blue non-marking or something like that but 
I wanted to share my thoughts. I love it. It works great. The pressure washer works great. Um, I just had to use a lot of patience and uh, thread tape to make sure it doesn't leak when I'm using it in the garage. And yeah, I don't have mine uh, piped in. I don't have water through the walls or anything like that. So basically what I do is I just run my hose in here, quick disconnect it up. And I have the garage door open anyways because I need to run the pressure washer hose out the garage door. That way I can work. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share it, kind of share my thoughts, and let me know if you have any questions that I didn't answer or anything like that. Um, the whole setup was pretty expensive for what it, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say pretty expensive for what it is because it's good quality. Most of the things that I have here are pretty good quality. Um, pretty much everything except for that baby blue hose, which was like 10 bucks. Uh, and maybe that jumper hose, which was like 10, 20 bucks. Um, those two things could be improved, but everything else I've been very happy with. And yeah, so share your thoughts and thanks for watching.